Hey everybody, welcome back. It's the Almost Daily Vlog here at Life in the Hyam House and uh, it's about time we change the name of this vlog because it is far from Almost Daily. It's pretty much once a week. But I think that's gonna change because today, well today is a special day because today marks 12 days till Christmas. That's right, it's 12 days till Christmas. That means Christmas is only 12 days away. And so if you haven't started your Christmas shopping, uh, you've got 12 days. You need to get on it. And I've already heard a number of uh, delivery places are already like maxing out and coming down to their crunch times. And if you're ordering online or you're ordering something that has to come in, you got to get it done, my friend. So uh, 12 days till Christmas. Um, friends, you know we love Christmas. I've said it over and over again. But man, we are getting down to the nitty gritty of it. Over these next couple days, so many things are going to happen. And uh, as we get closer, we're just getting more and more excited for the holiday. Um, so we got a bunch of things going on. Uh, Bray and I have been talking about uh, possibly doing some uh, fun Christmas videos. We're not sure what we're gonna do. We're not sure if we're gonna do it. Um, but we're getting swept up by the whole Christmas spirit thing and we're like, we have to do something. Uh, so we've talked about doing some uh, gingerbread houses. We've talked about doing some candies. Uh, we still have to make uh, our family cookies, although Amy's been making Christmas cookies already. But our family cookie night, like there's just so many things that we are about to do. And uh, we're getting super excited. And so that's kind of why I wanted to get on today because it is 12 days till Christmas. And, um, while a lot of people think of the 12 days of Christmas starting Christmas and then running to January 6th, which is Epiphany, that's 12 days. That's like the 12 days of Christmas. Um, we like to look at the 12 days till Christmas and the 12 days after Christmas. And so today starts the 12 days till Christmas. And we're starting it because a number of years ago, um, someone blessed our family. And to this day, I don't think we know who did it. Um, we have our, we, we, we think we know who did it, but no one's ever owned up to it. Um, and we've never been able to find out exactly who did it. But a number of years ago, um, we were just starting at a new church. It was the first Christmas at the new church. And someone blessed us with a huge box on our front steps, on our, on our front porch. And uh, with the large box, a letter that said, this is, you know, the countdown to Christmas, 12 days of Christmas. And it kind of walked us through the 12 days of Christmas, sharing their meaning, um, what the 12 days were, kind of the history of it. But with each day was a little gift for the family, um, which we just thought was incredibly sweet. Um, and we vlogged all 12 days. And so I thought it'd be fun to bring out the vlog um, and then post them starting today all the way through till the day before Christmas as we uh, back then opened up this sweet gift that someone gave to us. Um, so kind of want to honor and say thank you again to the person who did it because it was an amazing, an amazingly thoughtful gift. Um, and just kind of blew our socks off at how well they did at picking the gifts for our family based on the days. We were still relatively new to the church, but they were pretty good at getting some of our, our gifts right. So starting today, we're gonna to repost all 12 episodes of that vlog series, um, one, one a day from now until Christmas, so you guys can see that. So um, some days we're gonna have two posts, some days we're gonna have just one post, um, and we're bringing back a lot of our previous Christmas uh, vlogs, things that Bray and I have done, things that the kids and I have done, um, just to kind of remember those sweet moments, which is one of the reasons we started the vlog in the first place, was just to capture the moments that we had as a family so that we would treasure those memories for, you know, for as long as digital video lasts. Um, but we're gonna share some of those things, and then like I said, if, if, Amy, if Bray and I start doing some new stuff, we'll get it on there. Um, but here's what I want to do because I don't want this to be just like self promo. Um, I do want to throw out to you guys um, a couple of, 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 well, a thought for it today. Um, and it's really going to have to do with the idea of we are down to 12 days of Christmas. Um, we've talked a lot on the blog about traditions. We've talked a lot about the meaning of Christmas, the significance of Christmas. 
Um, I want to take a moment here as we kind of kick off these 12 days. Whether you're a new viewer, a long time viewer, someone who just happened to stumble upon our channel, um, let me just share a little bit about who we are. Um, we're just a, a simple family. We've been in ministry for a very long time. We've worked for a number of churches doing student ministry, now family ministry, uh, and we love doing it. Um, it has been an incredible season of life for us. We've enjoyed every minute of being able to minister to students and their families. Um, but one of the things that uh, really kind of impresses upon us as we get closer and closer to the Christmas season is the significance of Christmas. Uh, we talked uh, in the last vlog about Advent and how Advent does two things. It pushes us to remember uh, the birth of Christ and then it pushes us uh, forward to look forward to the coming, second coming of Christ. Uh, that's what Advent does. And so for Christmas, when we think about Christmas, um, a lot of that Advent pours into our, our belief system. Um, because what we believe very simply is that Jesus Christ, God's Son, was sent to earth uh, to be born uh, of, a, of a virgin named Mary, who was betrothed to a man named Joseph. Um, and God had chosen them to play a very unique and special role in his, his ultimate plan of redemption, that they would be the earthly parents of, of Jesus Christ, his son. And that this Jesus Christ uh, would grow up, would become a significant uh, leader teacher uh, among his people. Uh, he would cause controversy. He would be loved and hated. Um, people would look to him as the uh, promised uh, coming king who would sit on David's throne. Uh, they hoped in him that the nation of Israel would be restored. Um, and all those things are, are part of the prophecy of who Jesus is. But the biggest thing that he did, and, and at his time some people miss it, and frankly many of us miss it today, but he didn't come to be an earthly king to sit on an earthly throne. He came to be a heavenly king who would sit on God's heavenly throne. And in that, he would redeem his people and rescue them from their sin. Now, if you've never heard any of this before, you know, when God created all things, and that's where our faith begins, it begins with acknowledging that God is the creator and he created all things. Uh, he created man and woman and in creating them, he had a relationship with them that was good and holy and right and, and without sin. But man um, messed it up. We, he, he disobeyed God. He, he wanted something that he wanted and allowed a, a lie to penetrate his, his heart, his relationship with God. And he did something he wasn't supposed to do. And with that came the separation between the man and God. And that separation is what we refer to as sin. It is our willful disobedience uh, against, against God, our Creator. And uh, that sin that the man started has, you know, been plaguing us ever since. The constant battle that we face as, as, as human beings is our way over God's way. Uh, we want what we want. We want it now. And, and uh, a lot of times we think that's the better plan for us. But ultimately, the, the better plan is the plan that God has for us. Um, but we, we war against him because we we want our plan uh, until God finally gets a hold of us and says, hey, I've got I've got good things. I've got better things for you. Um, and that all leads us into a, a, a time of repentance and confession and the acknowledgement that God is creator and he is restorer and redeemer and, and we surrender our wants to his want. Uh, we let go of our goals and plans and we take on his goals and plans and we become his children uh, through the belief and uh, acknowledgement of who Jesus Christ is. That he died on the cross for our sins much later in his life. But he died on the cross for our sins, was buried, and three days later was raised again. And in ra being raised again, uh, what he does is on the, sin, on the cross dies for our sin, but in the grave he's raised to give us life again. 
And so through him, by us putting our belief in him, repenting, confessing, and trusting in him, um, Jesus becomes our Lord and, and, and Savior, our rescuer. And uh, it doesn't mean that we stop sinning. It just simply means that we now have forgiveness for our sin. And in that change, we are striving to live for the glory of God. We're trying to do things the way God has called us to do them. Um, and that looks uh, a couple different ways depending on where you sit. But basically, I believe that's putting God first in my life and trusting that his purposes for me are better than my purposes for me. Um, and, and so starting these 12 days till Christmas, that's kind of where we're, we're heading. We're heading to uh, Christmas morning, the coming of Jesus Christ as a babe to live out the purpose and the plan that God has for him in, in that one day he will die on the cross for our sins. Now, all that took place. You can read and learn all about that in the Bible. It's all right there for us. Um, but it's really a, a state, a step of, of faith and believing that what the Bible says is true. And uh, fortunately, we don't have to go into that with an empty belief. We believe because God actually helps us to believe that. Um, and there's much more, more I can say on all these things, but I don't want to make this too long of a video. But here's a challenge that I have for you. And I share all this stuff because um, as we step into these 12 days of Christmas, what we want to encourage you with is as you think through what your Christmas looks like, 12 days out, what your what plans you're making to be with family, to be with friends, as you finalize your shopping, as you're wrapping gifts, as you're preparing Christmas dinners or whatever it is that you're doing, the Christmas parties. We have a slew of those things coming up here in the next 12 days. Um, as you're doing all of those things, um, can I challenge you to do this? To simply take a moment and consider if the story is true. And if the story is true, how does that impact your life? How does that change your life? How does it change how you think and what you think about when you think about Christmas and how your life looks? If the story is true, if Jesus, the, the baby that we celebrate, if it's his birth, if he's, if he's real, um, if that's all true, what does that mean for you? Um, and, and I throw that out there because I'd like to really challenge you to, to kind of reflect and think about what your life looks like. Um, and I'm not saying you have a bad life, not saying you have a great life. I'm just saying, how does your life look? Um, and what would it look like if you were to put your hope and your belief and your trust in Jesus? Um, and I would hope if you have questions, lay them down in, in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them or at least point you in the direction of someone who can answer them for you. All right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry for such a longer vlog today. I'll try to make tomorrow's a little shorter, um, which means I guess I have to be here tomorrow, but I think I can do that. Got a full busy day today. We'll see you all later. Thanks for watching and uh, Merry Christmas, my friends.